Okay, so first one, let's just see about latitude and longitude. All you have to do, just double click it. So I'll just double click latitude, and you will probably see that uh, latitude is in the left side, and I'll also double click longitude. Then you probably see, because it's, it's GIS data, Tableau understand it, so probably you will see that a dot in Washington. The reason why it has a single dot is because it just shows the average value of Washington. So all you have to do is just open it and double click latitude and longitude. And then instead of this one, we want to see individual permits on the map. So what you have to do is, uh, first of all, application permit number is actually understood as measure. But actually, this one is actually categorical data. It's kind of the same thing that your number star will see something. So actually, it's not continuous number. It's not measurable number. Whenever there's a new case, they just give a number. So actually, it's categorical data. So I actually change the right mouse button click on the right side. I change this one to convert to dimension, meaning that I will change this one to a numerical continuous data to categorical data then you probably see that application permit number will be located under dimension and then all you have to do is just drag this one to details and then it will ask you to there are many numbers of uh, data do you want to really want to show them or then I just say yes or or members then you probably see that this data is actually all the permits in in Seattle. Why, why did you do it? I just dragged uh, application permit number to detail. Mm -hmm. Any question? Sorry, what number did you drag to detail? Uh, application number okay. to details. Okay, but this one is all blue. Uh, but we know that there are commercial building, institutional building, residential building. So we want to show them separately using different color. So what I'm going to do is I will select category and then I will bring it to color. Then you will see that different colors. So kind of what do we see here is that Somewhere near here is more commercial, but the edge of the, I don't know, this of the around map, there, actually there's no category. Nor means there's no category. Uh, roughly what this means is the lower part yellow orange is commercial, or there's none, small number of industrial here and here, and actually many multi families. So this one shows a category so far. But this dot, okay, let's let it go deeper. Take a look at about, because every, so, so far you realize is that every dot has the same diameter. And then you probably see that many areas, many commerce, there are commercial areas, and in the between commercial, there are multifamily project. And then very small number of institutional area. So kind of, you kind of instantly, you can characterize that how does the city look like or how does the city perform like this okay now what I want to do is instead of using same size a single dot I want to see what is the value of each dot which is we know that there's a kind of building value so what I'm going to do is I will click value and then I'll drag it to size then you now you see that more expensive one has higher diameter and then small value has a small dot so now let's kind of zoom it out you now see that where is actually center of downtown actually you probably see that this one is probably a commercial high-rise building are, cent are centered here and actually there is just lower uh, single family so now you see that where is residential area and where is commercial area and where is institutional area so probably you probably see that uh, you probably know that more intuitive about Seattle where, where did you get this data? 
uh, every uh, government open their building permit. So actually every state, every uh, I think county has their own data. Okay, but at There's a link. If you go there, there's a data. You have to, another link to download it. Oh. Okay, so I will finish this one, and then I want to rename that this sheet as probably rename it as. Um, some map overview it's just up to you i just changed that so this one is our first